Amen. Amen. Do me a favor. We are at church today, and it's a beautiful Monday afternoon. And I just want to remind you that we didn't come just for obsequies. We didn't come just for funeral. I think that uh, the weather forecaster scared us to cancel the funeral on Saturday. But can you do me a favor, look at your neighbor and tell them, neighbor, we've come for a homegoing celebration. Because we know to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. Denise didn't want a sad occasion. She wanted us to celebrate her life. Amen. At this time, our Old and New Testament scripture readings will be led in our hearing, our Old Testament by the Reverend Fleming Thompson, pastor, the Bethlehem United Methodist Church, and then our New Testament scripture lesson by the Reverend Portia Wills Lee, a senior pastor of the Trinity Tabernacle Baptist Church. Following the reading of the Holy Scripture, our prayer of comfort will be offered by the Reverend Sarah Billups, followed by a musical tribute, Reverend T. Renee Crutcher. They're going to come at this time in that order. I greet you in the name of the Lord. I'll be reading from Psalm 24. It's subtitled, Entrance into the Temple. The earth is the Lord's and all that is in it, the world and those who live in it. For he has founded it on the seas and established it on the rivers. Who shall ascend the hill of the Lord? And who shall stand in his holy place? Those who have clean hands and pure hearts and do not swear deceitfully, they will receive blessing from the Lord and vindication from the God of their salvation. Such is the company of those who seek him, who seek the face of the God of Jacob. And I pause because I believe Denise as she got to the gate, began to say something like this. Lift up your heads, O gates, and be lifted up, O ancient doors, that the King of glory may come in. Who is the King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle. Lift up your heads, O gates, and be lifted up, O ancient doors, that the King of glory may come in. Who is the King of glory? The Lord of hosts, for he is the King of glory. The word of God for the people of God. 